Well, I'm not a dad. It's a lot of the same right now for me. <laughs> She's going through the brunt of it. Um, but you know, I'm just trying to get prepared, I guess, and get the house together and the focus starts to shift, I guess. But uh, you know, I think it's time to get honest and uh, really kind of hone in on what the expectation is over the next 22 months. Um, what it's gonna look like at, at the home. It's probably the only thing that we've addressed in terms of swimming, but uh, you know, I just lost 50 pounds, so that's kind of was the focus more than like the performance metrics here. And 52 this morning I thought was pretty good, and then I just kind of have nothing behind me. Like, I've probably done five good workouts fly, and then maybe 10 good workouts total, a lot of them kicking. And so I'd like, I, I feel like I let the guys down, because I think they were, like, oh, you're looking really good. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, it just didn't look good until like July 15. So, yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens coming forward, you know, moving forward. Yeah, I mean, I eat a lot. <laughs> That's what causes you to gain weight, right? <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, the pneumonia sucked and uh, had to address some like personal decisions around food and alcohol. I think that, you know, everyone kind of reaches their 30s and it's like, huh, this is uh, starting to wear on me. And, this being my job um, to make this work a little bit more properly, I decided to address that and I had a good talk with uh, Durden and actually got to see um, Pearsall. We went on vacation in Hawaii and just kind of ran into him. And he uh, was like, yeah, so uh, what are you doing about your diet? <laughs> that was like the first time anyone in my life had kind of like brought it up and I was like, all right, yeah, I should get like honed in on this. So that's kind of been the focus. But um, yeah, I wouldn't say pneumonia made me fat. Pneumonia's added a month to my getting fatness, which was started in like August. I really like sleeping inside. I've said this before, it's a rip from um, Adam Sandler's co-star. He said it in a podcast once and I liked it. I forget his name now, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I mean success is eating and sleeping inside, so that's always been my motivating factor in this sport. Like, um, I would have loved to have uh, more opportunity, but I'm thankful for the opportunity that I got growing up to become, you know, what I what I could be and and um, Unfortunately, I've never had like Well 14 and 15 16 I kind of had like multiple years where I could kind of like take some time off and train but now I kind of got a race in the fall and um, I got to you know work with ISL through all that and so years long training programs and like thoughts are just like so not at this part of my career and um, it's not a good long-term plan. I just kind of waltzed onto the team, and um, that is like hard to say honestly because it's you know the first time around it wasn't that way at all. Um, but you know, love, you know, enough guys missed the final or scratched or whatever. We, we were all there. I'm not going to pretend that's not what happened. <laughs> um, so I know it's not going to be the same way 20 months from now. I mean, Shane, if it's the same event schedule. He's got a decision to face. He just meddled at the 200 back, and now the 100 fly is one of his better events. But Michael Andrews is better. This is, and Gabe is, and Trent are going to be going 50 points, 51 lows by then. So it's like I'm not going to get away with the same old crap I've been pulling. I think everyone's known that. So it's just like a time for me to kind of is this something that I can do or is it not? You know what I mean? I've been 51 lows for eight years, as long as I've been married. So. Uh, we're just kind of, I don't know, it's, so it's just it's something that I've been playing with my head. I have, this is the first time I've verbalized it at all. So if my wife sees this, she'll be like, why don't you talk about this? So are you verbalizing what? that you're not sure if you're going on to Paris? Um, oh, no, I'm, I'm going. I just don't know if I'm going to Paris. Okay. I'm going to Indianapolis. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I love swimming. This is what I do, man. And, uh, okay, I got you. Uh, a lot of people call me like a swim guy or whatever, but I love this stuff. And I, you know, I leave the deck at 3.30 p.m., if not early. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I leave 11 a.m. at the latest, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I get a lot of time at home. I get a lot of time at the beach. Like, still suck at surfing. But I have a good time. And so like, I'm very thankful for that part of my career, right? And I'm never gonna let that go. I'm gonna fight for that schedule as long as I can. <laughs> I was explaining it to one of the guys uh, this week. It's like, this job's weird when you get to this spot. Because you're always trying to bring up the guys around you. But now it's like, I mean, Gabe, like I can put a face to the name and teach. And Seth Stubblefield six years ago, like, my job is to help them take my job. So it's like this weird uh, place that we all exist in. I mean, Murph's coming into that age. Nathan did a great job of it. Like, it's just part of the 
you know, you're, you're starting to train your replacements. That's why I love that scene in Men in Black. It's like I'm not training training partners. I'm trying to get these guys ready to. I'm not their problem. I'm still. I'm already not their problem, right? Like so, it's been cool. Like a lot of guys don't get to do this part, and so I'm very thankful for that. It means a lot to me, and I'm gonna elongate it as long as I can, and, and maybe get my hand a little.